Once steam trains were proven to be an efficient way to move people and freight, businessmen began to build tracks for them to run on. George Stevenson built the world's first public railroad in 1825. The Stockton and Darlington ran for about 20 miles or 32 kilometers and was the first to carry freight on a regular schedule. Stevenson also built the first passenger railroad in England. It opened in 1830 and ran between the towns of Liverpool and Manchester. In America, it was the barge and canal companies that had the money and the knowledge to build the first railroads. The Delaware and Hudson Canal Company purchased an English-built steam locomotive, the Sturbridge Lion, in 1829. It was the first full-size locomotive to operate in North America. A year later, the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad was first in America to carry passengers. In the beginning, the B&O's trains were drawn by horses, like their canal barges but they experimented with a rail car powered by a sail. That experiment failed, and in 1831 they began carrying passengers behind a steam locomotive called the York. By 1835, over 1,000 miles, that 1,600 kilometers of track had been laid. More than 200 separate railroads connected towns and cities in 11 eastern states. By the end of the 19th century, Thousands of trains made their way across the largest transportation network the world had ever known. Railroads were the biggest business in America, and because they made moving between cities and factories and farms so easy, they also made nearly all other businesses possible. Mm -hmm.